All right, folks, so this week, Garmin's rolling out a pretty big update to the Garmin Connect app, as well as the Garmin Connect website, where they've redesigned the home pages in an aim to have a lot cleaner look and more focused interface, depending on what kind of data that you wanna see. So at the moment, this is rolling out just in beta, and then later on this year, they're gonna be releasing it to everyone. So being that it is just in beta, it's certainly not final yet, so there may be little things here or there that may not look perfect. Plus, they're looking for feedback on what works and what could be improved. So in today's video, we're gonna take a tour of the new app, the new Garmin Connect website, and I'll give you my first impressions on what I actually think about this new update. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the homepage and the current version of the app. So this area right here is gonna be your My Day area with basically stats for the current day. So up top, we have your most recent workout. So this is just an indoor cycling session that I did earlier. And then below that, there's gonna be cards with different types of information. And you can choose what kinds of information that you wanna show here. And some of these cards will only show depending on what kind of features that your watch has. So if your watch doesn't have training readiness, you may not see this card right here. So, but for instance, for me, I've got sleep coach, training readiness, training status, heart rate, body battery, stress. And you can see that there's a pretty good amount of information on each of these cards as well right here. So if we kind of scroll down and then up on the bottom, we have this add data button where you can add a manual entry for any manual activity, a manual weight entry, hydration, calories, blood pressure, so on and so forth. Below that, we have a yesterday view. So basically all of the same stats that we saw earlier, but basically in a little bit more condensed form down here. So these are the activities that I did yesterday. And then again, those same stats in the same order that we saw on the my day view. And then we also have the seven day view of, uh, again, that same information, just again, in a little bit more um, condensed average fashion down here. And then you can also edit the my day view right here. So here's where you can choose different stats that you wanna show on each of those cards. And then you can also just reorder any of those as you wish. And then you can also choose to show or hide your yesterday statistics as well as your seven day statistics. So that's basically the current view on the current homepage of the app. So switching over to the beta view though, switch that on, we go back. So here, it's kind of changed around now. So you have today's activity right here. So this is gonna be any uh, workouts that you did. So if you have more than one, it kind of like um, has a, a card fashion where you can kind of swipe left or right. And then down here, there's gonna be an in focus section. So these are gonna be particular stats that you wanna see kind of like in focus. So like your primary stats. So right now it has training readiness and then it also has training status. And you can edit this so you can have up to five of these different cards that you can swipe left or right to. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and see that here in just one second. And then below that as my sleep coach. And then there's this at a glance area down here. So these are gonna be similar to those cards that we saw stacked vertically before, but now it kind of has this side by side uh, layout. And then you can have up to eight different cards on the home page for this at a glance area. And then you can also click see all here and then you can see even more from here. So basically, uh, you know, it has all the eight from the home page, and then it has some additional ones right here. We can click edit, and then we can add even more to this as well. So right here, if we click add, let's say we want to do cycling FTP, we want to do heat score or hill score, pardon me. Um, and then we want to do, uh, I don't know, um, pulse OX, so on and so forth. We save that. Now, for this at a glance area, we have even more cards. And um, like I said, on the home page, you can have up to eight of them show right here. And then you can choose a lot more for this kind of like drill down at a glance page in here. So there you go. And then at the bottom, there's gonna be these three areas as well. So if you have any events set up in your event calendar, these will show up right here. If you have any training plans, that'll show up right here. And then if you have any challenges. And then you can also go ahead and edit this homepage. So if we click edit right here. So here's where we can choose to hide or show the in focus at a glance or any of those other three areas. And then we can also edit the in focus. So Right now, like I said, it had the training readiness as well as the training status. So I can, let's say, add body battery to that. I can say add uh, all my, my all activities trend and we can also see my horrendous sleep. And then again, we can go ahead and like uh, reorder these any, any way we wish. It's a little bit finicky, I kind of noticed. Yeah, so there we go, yeah. And then if we click save, 
go back to the home page. So now it shows five different cards on this in focus page. So there we go. And then uh, same thing goes for the at a glance area. So this is the same screen that we kind of saw earlier where we're gonna add eight stats to the home page and then uh, add more stats to the kind of like drill down glance area that we want to see. Now, something that's kind of neat about this is that, let's say, let's go ahead and click reset home. So there's basically different focuses that you have. So be healthy, stay active, or track my training. So if you click on any of these, these will kind of like um, set up kind of like a typical page based on your goals, I guess you could say. So let's say if we want to be healthy, if we click this, so it has sleep, body, battery, and steps, click save there. It's going to reset your home page at this point. So, you know, be careful with this um, if you already have it kind of set up how you want it to. But kind of notice here, it changes the in focus to sleep score, body battery, and steps. And then it'll also change your glances as well down here. So uh, if we click edit home, reset home, let's say track my training. Notice training readiness and training status. Go back there. And again, it'll kind of you know change the layout at that point. And this actually kind of brings up that when you first go to set up this new homepage experience, you'll actually go through this questionnaire, which kind of asks you your different goals and different preferences and what you kind of want to achieve. And then it'll create a customized layout based on your preferences. And then the other side of this refresh is with the homepage of the Garmin Connect website, where this basically mirrors the same sort of information and layout that we have in the app. So like up top, it has the today's activity. There's also the in focus section with the same cards and then the at a glance section with the same cards as well. And then if we drill into the all glances area, here's where they're gonna be the same from the app to the website. And what's interesting here too, is that if we, let's say, delete some glances from the app, they'll also not be visible on the website when we refresh the page. Oh, and then one more thing is that this refresh is pretty much centered around the homepage experience of the app and the website. The rest of the pages of the app, like the challenges, calendar, newsfeed, and other sections seem to be pretty much the same from what I can tell. We did see a somewhat recent change to the activity summaries where they kind of got rid of those circles in lieu of, well, a little bit more sterile look, I guess you could say. But other than that, it looks to be like the other areas of the app are untouched for the most part. And by the way, I'm definitely team circles on the activity summaries. I miss them. So what are my real thoughts so far on this refresh? Well, I really do like the fact that there's a little bit less scrolling and a bit more swiping, like the in-focus area where I can have my favorite stats right here up top with a little bit more information on each stat. The at a glance area though, that's the part that's taking me a little bit more getting used to. So I do like the fact that you can have more information displayed on the screen at one time. So like at least on my iPhone 13 Pro, I can see six glances at one time versus really only four with the previous layout. The information is pretty similar for the most part, but with something like training status, that actually shows more information with the previous layout versus the new layout. So it's basically like a broader set of information with the new layout that you can see at one time versus maybe more details with the current layout. The website though is probably the area where I think there's gonna be more polish to be had where I like the information that's there, but I think it could be a little bit prettier. And then one more thing too is that I do miss the yesterday stats as well as the seven day stats that's on the current version of the app. I really like that. So I'm hoping they have kind of something in mind there for when this goes out to the entire world. Anyhow, that's just a quick video on the new Garmin Connect refresh. And I definitely wanna hear what you all think as well. So definitely leave your comments down in the comment section down below. And if you found the information to be useful, do me a favor and also hit that like button. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.